Salete omnes. In this session, we're going to review the Hannibal and Scipio translation. Please make sure you've completed the translation before watching this video. Our subject here are the two nouns that we see at the beginning of our sentence, Roma et Carthago. Rome and Carthage fought three wars. In the second war, the leader of the Phoenicians was Hannibal Barca. Hannibal was very brave. Notice the superlative form of our adjective here, and very fierce, and a, the greatest leader of the Phoenicians. That one, which refers to Hannibal, that one attacked Rome with elephants. The elephants had been carried from Africa to Hispania. Remember, Hispania is the name of the region we now know as Spain. So if you put Spain, that's fine as well. Now we have an ablative absolute with our phrase here, with the elephants having been carried, the soldiers of the Phoenicians, with Hannibal as the leader, crossed or went across the Alps. Only one elephant lived. The attacking Phoenicians surrounded Rome. Notice here our participle, it's a present active participle with that NT as a clue to the present active participle. And then another ablative absolute. With the elephant having been seen by the Romans, the Romans greatly feared the Phoenicians and the elephant. As you can imagine, elephants were not a common sight in Italy, so this was something rather startling to them to see this elephant coming towards their city. The walls of Rome were very strong, and Hannibal did not attack Rome. The Phoenicians almost conquered the Romans. For 15 years, Hannibal and his soldiers were fighting in Italy. The Phoenicians attacked many towns. Remember this word for town is neuter, and the neuter accusative plural ends in a. And they conquered Capua. At last, Publius Cornelius Scipio, a very brave and skilled Roman leader, rose up or you could say emerged, is he led the Roman army to Africa and Hannibal was called back from Italy to Africa. At Zama in Africa, Scipio defeated Hannibal and the Phoenicians in a great battle. After the war finished, the Romans honored Scipio. The cognomen Africanus was given to Scipio by the Romans. So this translation today not only tells us a little bit about what happened during some of the Punic Wars, but also explains to us how Scipio got the nickname Africanus. Please make sure you've made all the corrections to your translation. And if you have any further questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Wale te omnes.